What's going on people, it's your boy Theo here and this is a real talk. I'm going to be real quick with this one. So, um, Russell Brand, he's come out with a video um, in the early hours of this morning, um, just having to say where he's at with, with this whole thing. He's um, saying that his Rumble platform is open for, for people to jump in and watch his content and he wants to make money off it and everything else. Yes, at the moment, yes, he is cancelled. And... And it's not, and and at the end of the day, um, what he's been doing um, over the years that he's been um, alleged for, it's just not a good look. That's my whole point on my video. Like obviously, it's trial by media and all that stuff. But but my whole point with this, with what I'm trying to say here, is that it's just completely unprofessional, and it looks bad. And you have to point the finger at Channel 4. You have to point the finger at the BBC for giving him the platform that he is. If they if they known that he was he if he was like this and it's not good for your brand and it's not good for your channel or whatever, you have to deal with that. But at the time, obviously it just conformed to the hype that they needed him. I don't know if that's been the case or not. But still it doesn't look good. It really does not look good. So I'm hoping um, we'll see some movement on the law, but I don't know if that's going to happen, though. We don't know if he will get um, a trial. We don't know if he will be arrested or not. We don't know yet. Um, all we know is what's been reported over the last week or so. Um, and, yeah. Do I think that somebody has it in against him? Probably. Probably someone has it in against him and, and wants to take him down. Um, but you cannot deny that obviously this is an issue where sexual assault, rape is a big, big, big issue. And as I said before, there's women out there that's gone through it and they've never been the same from it. And, and I'm thinking about those women and you have to, you have to take stock on that. I, of course, would never... Um, go to such lengths to do that to a woman you know once a woman says no they say no once a woman doesn't invite you to somewhere you don't go it's simple as that but um, yeah I just wanted to chime in on here and just literally say where we're at with this whole thing I still don't think that this is over I still don't think um, that we're coming to the end of it I think that there'll be more coming out I just have this feeling I'm not saying I have information or I, I've I've got knowledge on the situation. I've just got this gut feeling. This is my own opinion. You can like it or not like it. Um, and you can believe who you want to believe. But this is my own truth. And this is what I feel on, on, on the matter. It just wasn't really great for him to um, carry himself like that. In the midst of having the height of fame i know with fame you can it makes you feel like you can do whatever you want it makes you feel like you're invincible you're untouchable i know it makes you feel like you know you can do stuff and not get away with it but honestly really and truly the last thing you want to do is end up um being in trouble and i i've been too much i've been through too much trouble as it is and i don't want to even want to get into trouble i don't like trouble I don't want trouble even finding me. I just want to be doing what I'm doing, working, living my life, try and be as positive as I can be, and that's it. Um, I don't. I know that you know Russell Brand is probably on that different kind of mi uh, mindset now, where he's looking at things a little bit differently to most people. I don't hate the guy. I just want to. I just want to say that I don't want to hate the guy. Um, I'm not a fan of him, but I don't like. I don't. I'm not. I'm not hating the guy or whatever. I just don't like what's been reported. I don't like what's been said. I mean, someone even came up to me. Uh, someone came came on my socials to, to say, "Oh, um, most likely these women are paid actors. Even if they are paying actors, even if even if they're paying actors, they wouldn't put out this show unless they've they had to do a lot to get through." Um, the barriers that's needed to put out uh, the show. I'm talking about the dispatcher show that was on here last week. 
and obviously it's caused people to act you know the bbc pulling uh, pulling their content off you know channel 4 doing the same youtube demonetizing him you know um promoters are dropping him their gigs are postponed and i know that russell brand has got to make money i understand that but at the end of the day still it doesn't it doesn't feel like it's a it's a good thing what's going on here honestly it really doesn't so um one way or the other we will have a resolution to this one way or the other um but you can be certain that it still isn't it isn't great to read stuff like this or or see stuff like this you know in the news and what's been reported it's not great because even as a man for me i could never ever i say this again and i'm saying it i'm saying it again i can never be subjected to doing things like that ever ever but that's just me. But anyways, people, I'm going to leave it there. So if you like this video, please like it. Subscribe if you're new. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And I'll be back with another video soon. In the meantime, people, take care. Peace.